Hi Year 12s, I'm going to try solving cos x is equal to a third and give all the possible answers in the range 0 up to 360 and I'm going to show you how to use the cast diagram but also your calculator to do this. So first of all we just do inverse cos as you'd expect from GCSE and that gives you 70.5. Make sure your calculator is working in degrees. Um, and now I'm going to draw our cast diagram. So if you remember from the other day, the letter represents which trig, um, trig ratio is positive for angles in that quadrant. So they're all positive here. Only sine is positive for obtuse angles, only tan for these reflex ones, and only cos for these reflex ones. We always measure angles anti-clockwise from the x-axis. Okay, so I have got cos x is positive a third. So I'm going to circle the regions on the cast diagram where cos is positive, so here and here. So that tells me I'm going to draw a stick in there, and the angle made with the x-axis will be the 70.5 we've found. So I draw a stick in here, and the angle made with the x-axis is 70.5. Right, I need to find all of the angles between 0 and 360. So 0, remember, starts on the positive x-axis and goes around until we get to 360. So I'm going to go around and I hit a stick. So I stop and I write down my answer and that one is 70.5. Okay, so then I start again at 0 and I keep going around until I hit the next stick. Okay, which is here. So we can see that this red angle would be 360 minus 70.5. So I'm going to use my calculator for that. 360 minus my answer. So I get 289.47. So to um, three significant figures, we've got 289. Okay. Right, so after that, there aren't any more angles till I'm back to 0 or 360. So I'm going to check that I've got that right using the graphs on the calculator. So if you go to the graph menu and type in cos x, okay, and we want it to equal a third. So we're doing y equals cos x and y equals a third. And then we draw this. I need to press view window and choose trig. But I'm going to change my x values so that they are the ones that I need, 0 to 360. And draw again, that's better. And if I find the points of intersection, so G solve, intersect, I get 70.5 and then 200, and, oops, <laughs> two, it was 289, let's just try that again. There we go. 289 um, as well. 